Yeah. That can come to a funeral. <laughs> just suddenly realised why we we're both wearing... supposed to be celebrating the best of 2020. But this is actually probably but good that we're wearing black. black. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, because it has been a bit black, hasn't it? It's been <laughs> a bit of a dark year. A bit bleak. So we are... Beauty hags. Beauty hags. <laughs> beauty bags, beauty hags. I promised you that I'd get her back before Christmas and we managed to do it before everything went down into a super tight lockdown, which we're super excited about. I've just announced it. So I thought I'd rinse her dry of video content. This one is best launches of 2020. And we didn't know what we were gonna talk about until we put them on the table in front of me. And there's a few that are the same. So if I like something, it's good. If she likes something, it's good. If we both like it, very good. I'm actually, do you know what? That, this is so good. It's so good. It's really weird because, is that the hyaluronic acid one? No, no. it's the Dermalurgo. I've been using the hyaluronic acid one yeah. and it is like putting dew on your skin. That's just so good. We're going to talk about what's transformed Joe's skin in a minute. And actually, one of the things that I love about that brand, which we'll talk about in a second, is that they recommend other brands around it. And La Roche-Posay, this is La Roche-Posay Dermalurgo, which is a serum for crisis skin. So it was perfect for this year. Marsley. Perfect for marsley, mm. perfect for stress skin, perfect for sore lips. You can use it all over your face, around your eyes. It's absolutely amazing. It's got a peptide in that basically calms and soothes your skin. So that, with what you're now going to talk about, is perfect because this is the brand that you should be using to support your skin with what you're going through. Well, this is interesting then, because um, what have I done with mine? Your skin and me? Did, yeah, did it fill oh, up? Oh, it's there. I can't no, see it. <laughs> what have you happened to if you don't have your goggles on, love? No, I don't because, first of all, do you know, this is all, look, listen to this then, all right? So I knew I needed a new prescription. You know, when everything's just getting a bit too... And our prescription was the same. It was the same. Are you telling me now I can't use your glasses? Well, I now have two pairs, I have to wear two pairs. I oh, know. <laughs> I feel like the optician was gonna say, bifocals. Oh, that's what they said but to me. But then looked time. at my face and was like, I probably better <laughs> for value my life, because he was about 25. And so now I have to wear a pair for reading, well, reading and, and uh, writing, like writing and stuff. But if I, I can't see past them, past yeah. my hand, uh, past my arm, and then I have to wear a different pair. Yeah. And it's so confusing because I you did, never remember which ones. I did get a pair of bifocals about a year ago and they made me feel so sick when I walked around. Yeah, them. I those, tried those on, those, they were horrible. The, yeah. the, the, the Boots prescription on... Um, I know, Stella McCartney. Stella McCartney. Yeah, yeah. And I need to get the lenses changed because I still haven't got them changed. And I actually just went back to my standard thing now. And But I have to have, what I have to have is a pair of glasses in every room. Yeah, like a mask, isn't it? Yeah, you, I like in every pocket. But I find them, so, and also I have a real um, sensitivity with light, so they wanted me to get um, lenses that were slightly yellow. So, no, 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 so did you have to have bifocal reactor light rapids? That's when you know it's time to well, get up and stay home. <laughs> when do they start slowly changing colour when yeah. you know? I mean, yeah. that was it. Oh. That and my perimenopause. Yeah. It's been a great 2020. <laughs> Starting to get hot flushes. It's been and so stressful this year. It's basically amped up her prescription on her lens and brought her into perimenopause. I bet it has, you know. I bet it gets stress can trigger. Um, also, but not only do you have the stress of having the children home and Dan working from home and you've had the builders in for six months and we've had COVID, you've ran beauty bags through the hardest year ever. I mean, maybe your ovaries are like your retinas. They just went... <laughs> They're just like shrunk. Yeah. And then at the, at the same time, the little ovens come on in my body and I'm like that. <laughs> Fuck, is it hot in here? <laughs> and I was like, is anyone else hot? Is anyone else hot? And then like, my kids are like fucking freezing. It's when you start, like, it's when you start doing this. Oh, no. That's when you know. But when you're doing this and then reading your phone like that. <laughs> So, for me, the, the the hit serum of the year was La Roche-Posay Dermalojo because, not knowing, because it would have been formulated a year and a half ago, it's for crisis sensitised skin and we've had the most sensitive crisis laden year. So I just love it. Whatever happens to me when I fly, if I get perioral dermatitis, I get dry lips, I just stick it on everything. It's really, really lovely. Yeah, don't share that with anyone. <laughs> I don't know where it's been. No, don't. And also, can I just say... So this has, to me, has been the most exciting uh, prescription skincare launch of ages. So tell them about it. So this is Skin and Me. It's like one product of daily um, skincare that you use every evening. 
It's got three prescription strength ingredients in it, and every single person's prescription is different compared and to... And you get your name on it. You get your name on it. Which I think is so cute. It is cute, actually, because my daughter uses it, because her different, you know, her niece, and hers has just got her name on them. Yeah. So you can, and we sort of call it her violet cream and all that kind of stuff. But what I think is good about this, this is like, so it's three dermatologists behind it, two consultant dermatologists and a dermatological registrar. And basically no one knows skin better than a derm. Right. So especially if you have any sort of issue like rosacea, pigmentation, acne, whatever it may be, like skin texture, pores, enlarged pores. Skincare. And you use proven to work ingredients, right? So the ingredients on their roster mm -hmm. are Retin-A, so tretinoin, mm -hmm. at various different prescription strengths. And what's interesting about this is it starts at 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 6. 0.06%. 6 yeah. And the reason that that's important is because it's hard. It's hard using TREP for the first time, mm. and you need to start as low as possible. Slow and steady wins the race. They've got azelaic acid, they've got hydroquinone. Niacin, no, hydroquinone not yet, but it's oh, coming. they haven't got hydroquinone. No, niacinamide. And what else? And the other, zinc, and the other one is a name that I can't, it, Clindamycin, 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 which, which is, is an antibiotic. antibiotic. So that's the people. So that, what's in your prescription? So I started on 0 0.006, TREP, 4% azelaic acid, and azelaic 4%. Acid. I always think it's that pop star. Who? Iggy azelaic acid. <laughs> I'm like, I always get it wrong. And 4% uh, niacinamide. So the niacinamide is just, that's like an all rounder. Vitamin B3. And improves your barrier function. So what are you on now? And now, this is my latest prescription, so I've been on this for four months, and now I'm on TREP 0.15%. Okay. Still on 4% niacinamide and still 4%. And it's very interesting, because when I previously talked about Dermatica, Dermatica starts at 0.025. Mm. And I have to say, I've tried Skin and Me. Now, Joe has melasma and did suffer from breakouts, but obviously now she's perimenopause, so she doesn't really get breakouts. Um, but... Her melasma, I'm telling you, you've been doing this six months, your melasma has virtually completely it's disappeared. disappeared. And do you know what? And I'm, is Sally using it as yeah, well? Yeah, Sally's using it. I know it. we shouldn't talk on Sally's behalf. How's her melasma? Because I haven't seen her, obviously, IRL in nine months. Nor have I. Oh. Can't see anyone apart from on frickin' Zoom, can you? And you and I, because we're bubbling. Yeah, but I but do think your skin is looking amazing. Honestly, it's like... And it, your pigmentation is so Oh, it's so... Better. The thing that I've really noticed is, like, my pores... I don't really see them anymore. I used mm -hmm. to see them quite a lot, like here. And every month my prescription is going up just a little bit, tiny bit, tiny bit, tiny bit. But you've had zero peeling, so now this is No, really I've had none. So we started on the same strength and I peeled, but don't forget I'm 14 years older than Joe, and my skin is much drier and her skin is younger and oilier. So she's had no reaction to it at no. all. My mum's, so my mum's used it, she's 66. You've got the whole family on Yeah. There. Do you know what, this is what's so So weird. this is to prescription skincare, because this is what it looks like when it turns up, by the way. What Beauty Banks is, it's a family venture now. I know. <laughs> Try everybody involved. But it's one Get of those- Get down on it. Well, I, it's one of those weird it's things. It's really lovely when it turns up, it looks like this. And right. it's like, it's all- I've been to the manufacturing plant stroke lab oh my god it's so cool it's like a something out of us i would have filmed it but obviously it's super secretive but it's like a sci-fi movie everybody's in like a vacuum packed super filtrated oh it's like something out of contagion i loved it there you go there's my skin and me nadine so i'm going to use it on my chest i think you should but the genius thing about it is that if you just twist it once can you see that am i doing yeah right? no no you do it in front of that what here yeah, that's it wait oh yeah it. now twist and up comes the dose, which is exactly what you need. Because you okay. never know how much you need, do you? I know, you? and they've got that to that's a fine two, that's, that's two doses because you twisted it. I know, I twisted it twice. Mm. That's because I was trying to concentrate. Never, I was never doing let it. it go to waste. No, that's no. what I know. You never let a good active no, go to waste. No. 20 quid. Look, the, the derms are going to be watching this going, what the hell is that Nadine doing? She's using Joe's cream on her chest. Sorry, derms. They are lovely. They are so nice. And so knowledgeable. How much well. is it a month? 20 quid a month. Um, and then what you do oh, they've you, given us, um, you get a new one every month. Yeah, and it just comes through your door and it's all in. So I know that obviously 240 quid is a lot of people, lot for a lot of people, but if you have acne, melasma, rosacea, because uh, so, um, so clindamycin can be used on the rosacea and the uh, niacinamide can, the azelaic acid obviously can really help rosacea. But basically, 
once I get the hydroquinone in for, which is what I think I might What's actually that pigmentation? Up, that's for pigmentation. It will be amazing. And also I talked about them moving forward. They are going to get some incredible new actives in as well. I think they're looking at tranexamic acid next year. They're looking at hydroquinone next year. They're looking at metronidazole, which is my um, Rosex cream for my um, peridermatitis. perioral dermatitis. Yeah. Loads of people are getting yeah. more dermatitis, aren't they, during Partly lockdown. masks. Partly, can I just say, removing parabens from skincare, but also partly idiot people that use too strong acids and overuse active Oh my God, like the amount of anyway, people. Anyway, I love it. Yes, it's the same active ingredients, but they can introduce you at a much lower percentage and build up slowly. And I know you all want to jump in and I know you all want to use 0.05%. Mm. Don't. No. Because your face will fall off. I did it. You'll never stick with it. The whole point of this is compliance, slow and steady wins the race. Well yeah. done, skin and me. Without a doubt, the best prescription skincare launch of this year. Sorry, Love I it. interrupted you. No, you didn't. Don't worry about that. No, because people tell me. Yeah, but don't. Really. Do you know what? Do you know what someone said to me the other day on one of my video things that I did? I did. Oh, yes, excuse me. By the way, please follow Joe L Jones. But someone said, should we do a drinking game and take a shot each time Joe Jones says um? <laughs> filming content by the way for Christmas Day today and New Year's Eve we might start drinking I mean, yeah and the other thing I love about Skin and Me this video is going to be so long the only thing I love about Skin and Me if you use this fill out our form you'll know what your skincare is we recommend you use this cleanser this mm. toner this moisturizer and they really cool ranges here like CeraVe and La Roche-Posay and Vichy like all the products that anybody that knows anything about skincare loves is they're all ones that they would recommend in clinic yeah so that you know and I that's went, what La Roche Posay for me is like it's now gold standard yeah. you know and you're just like if they say it's gold standard it's gold it standard is, yeah. and I do love that hyaluronic acid as well I honestly hand on heart La Roche Posay do not do a duff product no I really I mean like it, it. what you what would be right for you and right for me is completely different but hand on heart amazing range amazing range uh what do you want to talk about next let's talk about your CeraVe cleanser because I think this is really interesting because well, I didn't get on with this what so what's that then that's my one that I always use. Go on. So this is um, new this year. This right? is the CeraVe. Not been that long ago, has it? No. This is the CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser, which, by the way, I said I didn't really get on with. No, and also, like three other people have said the same thing to me, and I'm like, what is there not to love about it? It's I find the other ones quite nice, bit runny, yeah, and a bit sort of like the texture of it is a bit sort of like jizzy. <laughs> That's the money shot right there. But this, the consistency of this is much thicker. You can see, look, I've nearly finished it. Yeah. I'll get a new one. Um, the, and my, um, both my kids use these as well. So Violet's eight. Okay. And I. Does she prefer that one? Or they do they prefer both it? prefer this one. So even though. That's more like a cream. Oh. And it foams up. You just put a tiny bit of water in it and it just foams up. But it's so, it feels quite occlusive, but it isn't, it doesn't sort of get stuck in, you know. It I found it slightly too de dehydrating for my skin. Oh my God, I found then it the complete you have oily opposite. skin. Yeah. And I have drier skin. I just found the texture of it. The, I love using it. I feel like it feels like a very premium cleanser whereas the other one does the job brilliant love it but doesn't give as much of a premium experience like for me this just also you like and your daughters have both got oilier skin than me so that's the whole point do they not use the sa cleanser as well? it's not like it's a little bit too much for them okay well between you and me the, they're bringing an sa face cleanser over i'm not sure if i'm supposed What's to say that but salicylic acid for young teenagers um okay now we need to hold on a second because she needs she can't wipe. She cannot wipe and rub that cleanser into her hands. I need to get it. So there you go. I've washed it, off. it up. Oh, I, washed I, I couldn't bear it. <laughs> so uh, I so, would have left it. I know you would have. You just <laughs> rubbed it in. So there you go. Uh, she loves the new Cerave cleanser. Like I always say, just because I don't like it, and it's not right for my skin tone. Doesn't mean to say it's not right for somebody no, else. No, I know lots of people. Okay, say let's talk about like the hair saviour of the year. We both bought the same thing. Olaplex Zero. Now. I, you were using it the other day on stories and yeah. you just couldn't be bothered to take it off. Oh, I find it is a faff. It's not a faff. It, it is a faff. It takes 10 minutes. No, it doesn't. Because you've got to... It you put that on, dry hair. Leave it for 10 minutes. Leave it for 10 minutes. Put the other one put on the top. Put the three on top. Leave it for 10 minutes. What's 10 plus 10? 20, but well. you don't really need to put the other one on top for that long. I had this treatment in, in the basin um, at a salon the other day. They probably left it on for about five minutes. Honestly, it's absolutely brilliant. It's the closest there is to step one and two, which is the salon only one so I it's really not like it. is the salon only one one and two yeah 
okay. and you can't buy it. So they, they yeah. obviously realised that people were trying to score it like a sort of quick, like, like going to the salon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. give, me, give me step one and two. So they've made this. And I reckon this is probably about a fifth of the strength of the step one and two in the salon. It's really, really, really good. It's great stuff. I really like well, it. The one have you noticed a difference or have you not used it? I've only used yet? it once, but I, I did like, I really liked it and I, I trust it as a brand and I think, and I know that it's worth sticking with. The thing that I found quite frustrating with it is that the number three is tiny. It's tiny. It's gone in one. No, it's not gone in one. You did no, no, not mine it. wasn't that size. In there it is. Not it, it no, it isn't. It's like really? a little, no, it's like, um, it's it's nowhere near that. It's it's a one use thing. It's like in a, um, a little, like a toothpaste tube, uh, but like that big. So my three um, is uh, a leave-in sort of conditioner, hair strength repair one. The only point you have to use that on top of that is Olaplex only works when your hair's wet the minute it dries out. So if you put that on overnight and your hair dries out, it stops working the minute your hair's dry. So that essentially keeps the water in that. But then you have to shampoo your hair over the top. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean, it's a lot. It's worth it. You only have to do it once every quarter. Once every, no, they say once a week. That's that the same fucking thing. Yeah, there's no way you would need to use that once it a week. It says, I've, sometimes it says if your hair is really damaged, you should use it a couple of times a week. No, there's no way I would use it once a quarter. Well, that's what I mean. But then. I tell you what I would use once a week. Oh my God. This is the new Nexus Kerafix range, which I've just discovered and I've been using since I got back off of holiday and my hair was, as Joe Jones would say, effed on holiday. But oh my God, it's incredible. You're, now, this, the reason I've got this out is because you're going to go, I told you so. What? Go Guess on. what the active ingredient in that is, apart from the fact that it's got keratin in there. Fermented rice water. Is it? No. Say it. Say not. it. Say it. Say it. Say it. No, but I, you said that didn't work. Say you it, said say it was it, a load of it. balls and nonsense and more of my hippy dippy shit. <laughs> oh, I knew she was going to say it. Now I've since gone away and done the research. Basically, it's got fermented rice water. You're going to love it. We need to get you some. So basically, that's a special treatment. But the shampoo conditioner and this is the mask you use every single day. It's the first time I've ever used a shampoo and conditioner that's genuinely <gasps> changed my hair. Really. It's got something called glutamic acid in it, and fermented rice produces glutamic acid. Glutamic acid has the ability to open and then reseal the keratin hair bonds. I stand corrected. God, that's amazing, because you really did go to town on me on that one. <laughs> but the, do you know what was so disgusting about it, though? The smell. Oh, I, but that's got a slightly kombucha smell as well, and I kind of like it. No, though. you wouldn't like it if you would got if you made some fermented rice water. Well, anyway, you don't need to now. You can buy Nexus Kerafix. It's from it's a salon range from the well, states. That's what I was going to say. But what isn't I it? love about it is it's available from Boots, and it's is like, it? for a salon range. It's quite reasonably priced. I've realised that that's one of your thing that you say. What I said it myself the other day. It's very reasonably priced. Very reasonably. <laughs> I tell you the other thing, I had to edit a video of myself the other day. Your um is my, oh my effective God. and affordable. Effective really? and affordable, effective and affordable. I'm like, shut up, Lizzie, stop saying effective I didn't, and affordable. I would never, no, I would have said, what did I just say? Reasonably, very reasonably very priced. Reasonably priced. I would have said that. I wouldn't have said effective and affordable. Bend over. <laughs> Don't turn it on. <laughs> I've already got an oven inside my body. Like men are pausing me up. So they're the hair heroes of this year, without a doubt. Let's talk about this, because I'm really jealous I haven't seen this. Oh, right, I just did that. I know. They'll make a meme out of that one. <laughs> I'm really jealous, this is amazing. I'm gonna leave this with you. Can I have it? Yeah, yeah. Seriously? It's brilliant. Tell me what this is. So this is a Babyliss 9000 cordless waving wand. So, when so earlier this year, was it this year? Last year, oh, I no, know. Please. Yeah, well, we did because we used it as one of our highlights of last year. Last year, they used a cordless straightening iron, which Joe was using a lot and absolutely loved it. It was last year because you were saying to me, I, I have it in the desk, I use it on my tube, I use because obviously in those days we got out and about. Oh my God, it was last year. Oh. That's it. Avon calling. <laughs> Are you actually texturizing this is what i'm using not. right yeah I, okay just a little bit right only and i never blow dry my hair at the moment really never but what i, would I do, think your hair's looking really good i mean obviously well, she has I've got, got some, some extensions, extensions in backing. but basically what i like about this has got no cord um when you fully charge it which i thought i had but i hadn't, obviously hadn't you get 40 minutes with it fully charged 
Um, you can How just long take it take to anywhere. recharge, or do you just does oh, it come sleep on the stand? In for a couple of hours? It's got no, it's got like a little tiny little. Which obviously she hasn't brought for me. So no, I have it. Have you? Yeah. Okay. And um, it just basically it's got like a magnet. You know, like your mouth. Oh, it's got like yeah, yeah. So yeah. just or goes like, like a that. toothbrush. Exactly, and you just plug it in with like a normal lead, okay. and. What I because I, the kids now like me to do their hair a little bit of a bend. Also, can we talk about the kids' hair? This is so funny. Okay, at this point, I can't drop in pictures because it's just not fair. Joe said the most insulting thing about having fine hair <sighs> is is having kids that have got just gorgeous hair that you have to do every day. Insulting. So you've got a whole family surrounded by people that have got loads of hair. Yeah, apart from me. Yeah, my brother's a bit. You got the brains. <laughs> brains though right well you say that I mean, Jackie's definitely got the sense of humour the base it's just so easy you just go like this go like that is it heated up uh, no because I haven't bloody oh I love that it, so it gives that kind of cool girl just, wave thing yeah and the thing is like it basically I haven't charged oh, it properly okay. so it's really low but it's good there's no cord Always. in the way they are quite heavy though because obviously they've got the entire heating yeah. unit in here I don't want to carry it around in my handbag necessarily. No, look, but it's yeah. so much easier without a cord yes. to get around the back. Yeah. Because you just basically go like that, and then that's it, and then you just go like that, and then I just hit myself on the head with it. <laughs> also good. Bringing you all the professional. Assaulting burglars, really? acting as um, a self-defence. And also for pegging your husband. <laughs> uh, I, didn't, I didn't just say that. Didn't what's pegging me? Shh. No, seriously, I I'm don't know. Oh, okay. Them. Is it rude? No, please. Right, okay. Best, without a doubt, best mascara launch of the year. Oh, yeah. Show me yours. We both had that, yeah. We talked about this, didn't we? Last Have time. you got it on now? Yeah. Tell me you are using a lash growth. Yeah, 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 I am. Yeah. So this is Charlotte Tilbury Push Up Lashes. We've talked about it loads. It's a comb mascara. Now, I'm going to say it's not perfect. And the reason it's not perfect mm -hmm. is because... Put your hand back. Sorry, I forgot the hand. It, because Hello. she hasn't put bloody spigots in her mascara, What's Charlotte. What's a spigot? Is it like, it's a little oh. thing that stops overloading the brush. She said when you first use it, it's amazing. But after a while, you are going to clean the brush. You're going to need to clean the brush off. But you basically just comb your lashes up, oh, don't you? And it definitely works. Oh, my God. It's, it's like the most amazing mascara. It's amazing. I love it. And you can sort of, like, press it. You can push. You use the comb to actually technically, physically lift and push your lashes back. It's really good. Yeah. It's, it's almost amazing. like having an eye lift, isn't it? Well, you're actually pushing them right against you. I know, I've just stuck myself in the eye. I'm trying not to cry. Yeah. <laughs> that is gorgeous. I liked the airbrush bronzer as well. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. No, was that this year? Probably. Oh, I don't I know. I don't. Amazon. Literally, like... How do you feel about shopping on Amazon? Because loads of people say to me they're really worried about buying beauty products on Amazon. Can I just say my Amazon find of this year is I've this? I've got that. I bought that well, from Japan. I stole this oh, idea did you? from you because you came back with it from Japan and I was like... Oh my god, I love that. That's like And then the I MTA thought, agent. shall I trust it? It's the richest one that they do. It's really, really thick and hydrating, so great for drier skin. And it's the Hada Labo, not Tokyo, because that's the UK version, Hada Labo Premium. Please, Hada Labo Tokyo, bring this to the UK in English packaging. Mm -hmm. I could have Amazon. It might have taken 10 days to arrive, but I think it's completely genuine and I bloody love it. I'm, I have to say, it looks exactly I know like it's mine. not politically correct, but I really love... Listen, the thing is what... The Amazon thing, shopping for beauty. I also think that it's like each to their own. Do you know what I mean? If you've got... People are worried about the authenticity. They think they're going to get fakes on Amazon. I swear I that that's cracked completely down. the right I thing. I think they've cracked down quite a lot on that over the years. Also, I mean, obviously that took a little bit longer, but... You can't beat it on convenience. That, that's my favourite one out of all I of those. I have to say, I have worked with Hadalabo. I love them. I mm. love everything they've done in the UK. They need a richer hyaluronic yeah. acid, and that is amazing. They also need to bring other cleansers over here, because I hear that there's lo loads of my followers are like, have you seen the Pump Action Foam Hyaluronic mm. Acid Cleanser? And oh, you're that like, sounds oh, good. I know. <laughs> I do quite like the other cleanser, though, the red one. Yeah, it's, it's really, really, really green nice. one. So it's from Superdrug, and thank you, Superdrug. Not for me. Thank you for super supporting Beauty Bank this year. You've oh, we love Superdrug. They can't do more. They're just such good people. They can do more. <laughs> I don't know what, but we'll always ask them. Thank you, Superdrug, for supporting Beauty yeah. Banks. Uh, and then I'm going to finish with two final pieces of makeup, which I've loved this year. You still don't get on with this, do you? No, I just haven't tried. I just haven't... Um... I haven't unearthed I've it let, I've left the is. lid off, look, so it's shrunk. Let's see. Ooh, why does it shrink? Because they dry out. 
Oh, it's like the Kevin O'Quan um, yeah, Foundation. That's exactly same what thing. it's like, exactly the same. Yeah, mind so. track. Yeah. Uh, it needs to come in more shades, but I do think without a doubt, Le Beige uh, Chanel Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder is lovely. It's one of those cream to mm. solid balm cream to powder bronzers, which is really lovely. And the budget foundation of the year without a doubt. This is Everything's covered in that CeraVe cleanser. That's not cleanser. That CeraVe cleanser. That's you know. <laughs> That took a while. Yeah. <laughs> this is really lovely. It's basically a serum foundation. I feel like it's look, exactly what but, your right colour is. But that? also, well, now you, you want to say it's my colour, but look, I do love to go a little bit more orange and a little bit yeah, more tan. Because I'm so white without it. But look, I think that's a really nice finished foundation. Got my tan. Like your hands look good. They don't look like what, as, as opposed to the rest of me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there you go. I really like that finish. I think it's really lovely. Super light, reasonably priced. But yes, matte finish. Demi, Demi Matt. Sorry. Demi Matt. That's another one of mine. Yeah. Demi, um, Demi Matt? <laughs> Demi Moore, Demi Matt. Uh, but that, I think, is a really nice foundation. Obviously, right? nicely used as well. You're using it. Oh, yeah, no, I love it. Really love it. Gorgeous. Don't make it up. Not all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Coming next week. I suppose, look. <laughs> Fucking dinner plates. They're not that big. Oh, look at them compared to you. You've got little, lady, lovely little lady hands. I've got shovels. Uh, it's a Scotchman thing. Jackie's got them as well. What are we doing next? <laughs> Coming next, we've got our beauty plans and wishes for 2021. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> peace out, Girl Scout. Oh, peace out, Girl Scout. Oh, double thumbs up. Double yeah, of course. Up. Peace out, Girl Scout. Ready? Oh. <laughs>